Hello, everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 2.12, we're going to continue our discussion of comparing numbers. And we're still working with three digit numbers. So listen to the following question. Draw a quick picture to solve the problem. Okay, after I read the question, if you want to, you should pause the video so that you can see if you can do this without my assistance, okay? So just use, check your answer after you're finished. All right, so here's the question. There were 125 butterflies and 132 birds at the park. Were there more butterflies or more birds at the park? Let me repeat that. There were 125 butterflies and 132 birds at the park. Were there more butterflies or more birds at the park? So go ahead and pause, draw your quick picture, and see what you come up with. All right, so we're doing what we did in our last lesson. We're going to label butterflies. And now we said that there were 125 butterflies. And we were comparing that to the number of birds, which were 132. So you recall that we said, start with the greatest place value and compare. Well, they both have 100, so that doesn't help you any. There were 20 butterflies, or two tens, but there were 30 something number of birds, which was three tens. Well, three tens is more, or greater, than two tens. So there are more birds at the park. Now let's look at page 103, well, 102. <clears throat> All right. So to compare numbers, start by looking at the digits in the greatest place value position first. So for instance, we have this number 483. And we know that we can write it using a place value chart as four hundreds, eight tens, three ones. 570. We know that there's five hundreds, seven tens, and zero ones. Well, if we just start at the greatest va uh, place value position, which is the hundreds, we notice that five is greater than four. Or we could say four hundreds is less than five hundreds. So if that's true, then 483 has to be less than 570. Okay, memorizing these symbols is very important. We need to be able to use these symbols correctly at all times. All right, so this symbol is read as great it, some number is greater than another number. When it's written like this, it would be some number is less than another number. And if we use the two horizontal lines, that's basically this number is equal to that number, right? So here we have 352, 346. Well, the greatest place value is hundreds, and they're the same. They're equal. But when we go to the tens place, 5 is greater than 4. So 5 tens is greater than 4 tens. So this number is greater than this number. So we would say 352 is greater than 346. Now, how can we remember this? Well, the point of this less than greater than symbol always points to the smaller number. Okay, 346 is less than 352, so it's pointing at the smaller number. It's opening 
the open part, okay, these two parts here are opening towards the larger number. Sometimes we say it looks like the small number is trying to eat the bigger number, if you think of it as a mouth, right? Okay, and this is the top, this is the bottom of the mouth, and it's trying to eat the larger number. Here, the mouth is facing to the left, and it's trying to eat 352. All right, so let's look at this one. 239 compared to 179. If we compare just the hundreds, we already know which one's the larger number, 239. So 239 is larger than 179. The point go, points towards this smaller value. Okay, 435, 437. 400, 400. Okay, let's go to the next number. Three tens, three tens. Ooh. Five ones, seven ones. Okay, well, five is smaller than seven. So, 435 is less than 437. Number three, 764 compared to 674. So if we look at the hundreds place, we already know which one's larger. 700 is bigger than 600s. So 764 is greater than 674. 519 compared to 572. We look at the fives, they're the same. Let's look at the one and the seven. Well, one ten is less than seven tens. So 519 is less than 572. Okay, let's look at page 103. Again. Compare using writing greater than, less, or equal than, equal to. 378 compared to 504. If we look at just the hundreds, we start at the hundreds place. That's the greatest uh, place value position. Three hundreds is less than five hundreds. So if that's true, then 378 is less than 504. The point of the symbol is pointing to the smaller number. 821 compared to 821. Well, the hundred eights are the same. The twos, tens are the same. The one one are the same. So that number is clearly E. 560 compared to 439. Well, we can compare just the hundreds because 500 is greater than 400s. So 560 is greater than 439. 934, 943. The 900s are the same. But the tens are different. Three tens is less than four tens. So 934 is less than 943. 475, 475. Four hundreds, seven tens, five ones, they are equal. 736 compared to 687. Seven hundreds is greater than six hundreds. So 736 is greater than 687. Write a three digit number in the box that makes the comparison true. 526 is less than some other three-digit number. 526 is less 
So we need a number that is larger than 526. Well, let's just say we choose a number that's greater than the hundreds place. Any number larger than 526 would work. I'm just going to write 626 because 526 is less than 626 because 500 is less than 600. 319 is greater than some other number. So this number is greater than this number. Again, I'm just going to compare using hundreds. So 319 is greater than 219. Multiple answers here, many different possibilities. Okay, 13, some number is greater than 782, or you can read it 782 is less than something. Okay, well, seven's less than 700 is less than 800. Some number is less than 131. One hundred twenty-one is less than one hundred thirty-one. So basically, you could have any number from one that's less than one hundred thirty. One hundred thirty or less would make that true answer. All right, let's look at page one hundred four. All right, write or draw to explain. Mrs. York has three hundred red stickers, fifty blue stickers, and eight green stickers. Mr. Reed has 372 stickers. Who has more stickers? All right, so let's do Mrs. York. She has 300 red stickers. She has 50 blue stickers. That's five tens, right? And she has eight green stickers. All right. So that's Mrs. York and Mr. Reed. It says he has 372 stickers. All right. So there's 300. Seven tens. And two ones. All right, well, if we're comparing the greatest pl place value position, they both have 300, so that doesn't help. Let's go to the tens. Two, four, five tens compared to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. Well, which five tens is less than seven tens? So Mrs. York has less, so Mr. Reed has more. All right, number 16. Jasmine has some number cards. Use the digits on these cards to make two three-digit numbers. Use each digit only once and compare the numbers. Okay, so there's going to be multiple ways, because I can use these cards in multiple ways that may be different than yours. So I, let's see, I'm going to just take these three, and I'm going to put them together. I'm going to call that 521. And then I'm going to use these three numbers and write 836. Well, if I stack them so I can compare, I know that five hundreds is less than eight hundreds. So 521 is less than 836. Again, there's multiple ways. Okay, multiple different ways you can use those cards. The comparison here is what's important. So whatever three-digit numbers you put on each side, your compare your symbol has to make it a true statement. All right, is this comparison true? 453 is greater 
than 354. Is 4 greater than 3? Yes. 253 is less than 164. Is 2 less than 1? No. 391 is greater than 417. So is 300s greater than 400s? No. 490 is less than 528. Is 400 less than 500? Yes. Right. So that's the last of lesson 2.12. It actually it is also the last lesson of chapter two in the second grade Go Math textbook. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.